Hi, I'm Shreyash, and I'm a grade 11 DDSP student. Today, I will show you how to navigate Replit and how to create a simple Hello World program. First off, I will show you how to navigate through Replit by first going and logging in using your correct creden credentials and then going to My Repls. Once you're there, you can either select a new folder or just create a new REPL. I would say it's better to create a new folder so all your REPLs are nicely organized. Then you can select which, which language you want. For this instance, we're picking Python. Then you can name your program. I'm going to name it Hello World. Created your new REPL, you can start coding. So first off, what you really want to do is create comments by using the hashtag keys. These hashtag keys will keep your code organized. So, for example, we'll describe what it is. This program prints hello world. Then, all you have to do is use the built-in function print and then single quotation marks hello comma world. And once you've done that, all you have to click is run. And there you go. You have a simple Hello World program. Hello, everyone. My name is Sutcher. I am a grade 11 student from DDSB, and I go to J. Clark Richardson. So today we are going to be creating a very basic program using Python. So. To create a new program, we will first go to My Repls. After that, we will click this blue button up here. And as you can see, there are tons of different languages. However, today, our little project is going to be in Python. Now, here in the title, we can delete this and name it whatever we want. In this case, we we'll call it First Code. And now we will create REPL. So as you can see here, uh, it takes us to this page where we can type whatever we want here and whenever we run our code, it'll output here. So to begin, let's start off with our assignment for today. Our assignment for today is as follows. Ask the user for a number. Depending on whether the number is even or odd, print out an appropriate message to the user. So to start this off, we will create a variable called num. We will set this equal to int. Int is basically short form for integer. So this means that whatever we type in the following will become an integer. And then we will put a bracket and type input. So in Python, whenever we write the word input, this means that the user can input whatever we want. And now with an additional set of brackets, we will write in quotations, enter, a random number and then we'll put a colon so if we run this right now as you can see here it says enter a random number we can enter anything and right now it'll produce an error but that's just to show you in the next line we will use the mod command and we will write num modulus 2 so what this basically does is whatever the user put for num will be modulus by two. So what this means is it calculates the remainder. For example, let's say someone puts the number five for num, then it will do five modulus two, which is basically dividing it. So the remainder between five divided by two is one. So if we were to output modulus, then it would look something like this. So if we do print mod, let's run this. So if we put five, then our modulus will be one. Anyways, we do not need this line of code. What we need to do is create an if else statement. 
Since we want a program that will show whether the number is even or odd, we have to do this. So if mod is greater than zero, colon, enter, print, and then in brackets and quotations, you have picked an odd number, period. So what this means is if the modulus is greater than zero, that means we have picked an odd number. And now to, for the else statement, we write else in lowercase with a colon, and then we do a little indentation. We will write print you have picked an even number. So what this means is whenever they put something in here for the enter a random number, it'll calculate the remainder. If the remainder is greater than one, that means the number will be odd. And if the remainder is less than one or equal to zero, then that means it's even. So let's run it here. So enter a random number. Let's pick 67, which we know is even. I mean odd. You have picked an odd number. So as you can see, the code works perfectly. Thank you for watching our video and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you and have a great day.